what's up y'all it's your girl pop and i am back with another video <laughs> so y'all we are going on a trip as you can see we are packing up the truck me and my sister lillian and we finna head out we finna head to mississippi we finna head to biloxi um for a youth conference the name of the conference is the young dreamers conference started by davion tate um and we are so very excited. This is the first official year that he was able to do this. And we're just all excited just for how it's going to come together. And, you know, now how it did come together. Like, God really had his way. And I just wanted to kind of share this experience with y'all. Um, show y'all how I was feeling <laughs> during this and what all I experienced and things like that. So, just... Keep on watching. Um, I sung a lot in this video. It was a lot going on, but I think it's gonna turn out to be great. And just come along with me. <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace out. Keep watching. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Pop, and I am back with another video. And so today, y'all, we going on a road trip. And I'm here with my sister. I'm here with my sister. She's driving because, yeah, you know, I can't drive. Um, Not that I can't drive, but I don't have my license. Um, Anywho, back to the point. I look, first of all, I look cute. You know. uh, second of all, I stayed until 1.40 in the morning doing my hair. And I didn't even know if I was going to like it. And then today, I really didn't like it that much. And I had to... <laughs> Anywho, back to the point. So, we are headed to Biloxi. Well, we really headed to the avenue. We just got on the road. This just gonna be a little vlog of my experience, y'all. Um, I'm excited. It's the first official year that he was able to do it, so uh, I'm very, very much excited for what we got going on. And that's so wet. Anywho. <laughs> When I cross that Mississippi water, y'all, it's just this joy. It's just this joy. It's this happiness. It's this smile, y'all. Oh it just come over me. I'm surprised I'm not wearing yellow. I think I have a thing about associating yellow with Mississippi because I want to go to Southern Miss for college. And so, therefore, yellow. You know, you know, the vibes. But, anyway, we have 28 miles to drive on the interstate. But I have not filmed in so long because of school, honey. Let me tell you how I'm feeling. Currently. <laughs> but we do we alright. But um it's a lot going on. It's really is a lot going on, y'all. I may be moving. I don't know. Like it's it's a well, that ain't no maybe moving. I am moving soon to where I'm not sure yet. But oh I don't know where I'm moving to, but I am moving. It's a lot going on. I've been stressed out. Anxiety been through the roof. I don't know. I uh, just trying to focus on school. Like everything that's going on outside of school in my life, emotionally, with my family, uh, even spiritually, y'all. It's making me so tired. Like, not sleepy, but tired and drained. And I'm constantly thinking, I'm constantly writing, I'm constantly receiving new information. And it's just stressful. And so that affected me in school. Tomorrow is the seminar and the concert and stuff like that. By the way, my sister is 
a vendor and yeah, with Sweet Spot Lizard Food. Um, it is. So, but we on the road. I'm gonna let y'all go because uh, we don't. Split. Police reported ahead. And that's why. <laughs> I got an old church choir singing in my soul. I got a sweet salvation and it's beautiful. I got a heart overflowing because I've been restored. There ain't nothing gonna steal my joy. No, there ain't nothing gonna steal my joy. Oh, no, it's three. No, there ain't nothing gonna steal my Uh, no, ma'am. <laughs> Joy. 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 <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I don't. I'm feeling all oh, church, y'all. 2020, when it came to church, a lot of us weren't going to church, and me specifically, like, I wasn't really going to church, nor um, a lot of online services, things like that, and. I don't know, it just feels good to be back amongst the saints and people, new people to fellowship with. Like, this, this is good. Um, what is that? Oh, the Young Dreamers Conference just made a post. So, see y'all? See? We is on the popping. Like, we are all excited. We all getting ready for what is to come. We got to be there for 3 o'clock. But 3.30, same thing. And, um, so we'll be checking in to the hotel around 3. Break. Take to the hotel around three, and then we gotta rush. <laughs> Quote unquote rush. We'll be there on time enough. Amen. Okay, y'all. So we finally made it to the Opperville, and um, when I come back, we'll already be on our way to Biloxi to go to the conference. But we made a stop, and I just didn't really want to film that. So much. right now we are uh, on the way, and we are late. We all the way late. We late, but that's fine. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna talk to y'all when we get there. All of that, go through the process of registration. All of that, period. Anywho, right now, right now, we just setting up the table, y'all, and I'm just getting clicked this little shot because we didn't already started, we already late, all of that. So let's just go. Ahead. Anyway, so we just finished setting the table up. We just wanted to show you before we have to go and move the car and all of that. So this is what it's looking like right now. Um, she is selling, what's on this side? Chocolate chip cookies, red velvet cake, chocolate cake, more red velvet with nuts. And then, um, peanut butter. what? Peanut butter? Sorry, uh, peanut butter. Again, it's my seat. We need to take a picture with your table after we move the truck. I'm kind of nervous, y'all. I'm not kind of nervous. I am nervous. I know that I'm nervous. But it's okay. Today is the second day of YDC. And yeah, I just woke up and I kind of lost my voice last night. I know I ain't feel that much last night. I'm probably not gonna feel that much today. Well, I will see. Let's just say God had his way last night. Okay, period. He got my best praise. My body was hurt last night. My voice is doing what it wanna do. But Today we have the seminar started at 10 o'clock this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get ready for the day or whatever. Uh, fix up my hair, get dressed, all of that. And then we will see you probably after that. God only knows what you've been through. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, you know what? El Milton, I think it was El Milton, but people play too much. Talk, talk to the fact, tell them this to call Jesus. Why can't you, you can do that? Without you 
Girl, I was in tongues the whole service. Okay, it's time to get dressed. We need to go, honey. We eat late, late. Late, late. Well, we ain't late. We need to stop going to conferences and being late everywhere we go. Can we show up at everything, huh? At We watching the graduation ceremony from over the state. But we gotta go. Um, we headed to we headed back to the church for the seminars right now. That's supposed to start at ten o'clock. It's nine fifty, so <laughs> You know, but we're not gonna be early either. <laughs> oh, we made it to the church. We not made it out to the church before time, before time, old time, before time. Let's go. We gotta go. So, hi, Chastity. I'm so glad that you were able to join me today. Um, I haven't talked to you in a long time. I haven't seen you in a long time, but before we started, we were able to kind of catch up a little bit, see how the church has been doing. Um, but to get on into the questions about the conference, how did you find out about the conference? Well, the actual church is called Pentecostals of the Gulf Coast, and I attend there every so often. So I came over there thinking that there was like a service or an event happening. And I found out that it was actually another church doing a service over there or like a musical conference. And they say, oh, uh, this is actually a youth thing. Do you want to pay for it? And I just thought about it and I looked it up on Facebook and I was like, yeah, I'm going to chance it and see what this is. And I really, uh, I attended it and I really enjoyed it. So it worked out. Oh, that's really cool. Like I saw you like, you were like, you were ready. You came in, like, I know you said that you didn't really know what was going on, but you came in, you was like, God, I'm praising you today. Like, that, you you deserve it. Mm -hmm. You, you can get my praise today. I don't know about nobody else, but you get my praise today. <laughs> so, um, by the way, I just wanted to say thank you for coming. We really enjoyed having you there. Um, I'm so glad that we did get that chance to talk um, on the last day there. I kind of was able to talk to you a little bit more, exchange numbers and everything. So, Honestly, can you just talk like a little bit about your experience at the conference and this, I know you said you didn't know much about it, so everything, when you walked in, it was like completely new. But honestly, to be honest with you, I wasn't, I didn't even know exactly how it was going to be. So I think it was very much a surprise for everybody. And so if you could just talk a little bit about your experience when it came to that. Well, I actually have a lot of experience going to different revivals and linking up with different churches to have events sort of like this. Mm -hmm. So when I came, I had an expectation that there was going to be a great move of God, but I don't know like the layout and the platforms and like how they were going to uh, establish everything. But I was just ready to participate and to get involved with other young people because that was the focus. And I was glad that I got to be a part of something new and young and fresh and to add to that experience. It was also uh, really warming, heartwarming to find out that later uh, my bishop actually knows him, knows of the church, and they actually come to our conferences, festivals, revivals, or whatever, and support us. So it's really awesome that in the Black community that we get to have those networks and to really engage and build up our communities in that way. We really need that. Yes. Oh my goodness. Like I didn't, like, I don't think any of us would have known, honestly, at the time, but that's crazy, like, to find out that, you know, your mm -hmm. leaders are already, like, connected. They already knew one another, and you just... And that happens all like, Yeah, and you just came. Mm -hmm. the time. We really enjoyed, like I said, we really enjoyed having you there. Um, I was, And that's more of my speed, too. I love old-school music, old-school gospel music. It's just something about it. It's really homey really fresh on your spirit and it's it's so god-centered and i think that's what some of the music nowadays is lacking uh that that old school anointing that thing that makes you want to get up and praise and be bold about who your god is it's just something that calls you back to home that place of safetyness in his presence and it's beautiful i celebrate that and i love to celebrate with my brothers and sisters so amen um, so were you there um, when they did like the interviews with the people 
or um like not just for the service did you come like and saw like the interviews or the lady who came and spoke for you I was there I attended and I do remember they got they uh invited that guy that, that taught us about credit and finances mm -hmm. too and I thought that was really great that he sent out his contact information and we were able to connect with him. But sadly, I haven't seen him since then. I haven't talked to him since then, but I'm really glad that it happened and I got to be a part of it. And I, I'm glad that like he gave out his number and everything. I actually have it. So, you know, just in case you ever want to reach out. I didn't necessarily have a whole lot to say. So I feel like because of hearing your story about how you enjoyed yourself, and everything, just how what you got out of the conference. Is there anything or any encouragement word that you have for Davion, the chairman, um, and the person, the person who started the conference? Do you have any encouraging words for him, or encouragement for people who will come to the conference later? I want him to understand that he is a great asset to the Christian community, and to know that his power, his voice. Is no small thing. God has anointed it. God has placed that desire in him and that vision in him. And I thank God that he took the steps to establish and take and take initiative and go forward and do something with the vision that God has given him. And I encourage him to keep the course, to remain strong, to pray, to continue to connect with others and reach out and talk about it, talk about it with other people, talk about it with people. Uh, that he would normally talk about it, talk about it to bankers, talk about it to anyone that he comes across, because when he does that, he's given it power, he's given it life, he's going to give it the attention he needs to grow it, and I think that he has all the assets he needs, and people will come as, as long as they know, so that's what I think. I love that. I love that. I totally agree. Um, thank you so much. I know I haven't talked to you in a while. So I'm just grateful for all the encouragement that you have given me personally and that um, you have now shared with Avion and everyone in the YDC. Anyway, so y'all, guess what I got? So Dr. Wakandia West was actually at the seminar you are talking about uh, the ACT. I was the only high schooler who was in the seminar so she gave me a free uh, book it's the act crack the code by dr y Condi west so that's exciting we got to be back up there for uh two o'clock doors open at two we got to be there earlier than that because we got to set up everything again so come on in the room oh, oh come on yeah 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 Um, Auntie, um, Lord, I can't think of her name. Sister Mary. 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 Mary had a little lamb. Oh, we were singing. We were all singing that song, right? And one of the guys who was sitting behind him, he uh -huh. was like, he writes up all my prescriptions. She said, write up all my scriptures. <laughs> it just like. <laughs> I was like, ooh. Not me screaming with the darn dog. Yeah. So. We back in the same area right now. Let me show y'all. So we back in the same area. That's my Bible. So we finna reset the table up. She actually sold half of her stuff uh, yesterday. It's another vendor that's over there. Um, they have a backdrop here for taking pictures. Everybody was at it last night. And this, but um, what am I finna do? I don't even know what I'm finna do. I need to fix my hair. I'm probably finna go ahead and change. So I just changed, y'all. Because that's where I left off at. Um, but actually, they just opened the doors and stuff for people to come in um, right now at 2 o'clock. So, so yeah. Um, so we officially got everything set up, y'all. And we is get, we are. We are getting ready for the concert today. I do have on my mask. You know, I know it's big, don't come for me. But it fit, it work, it's whatever. Well, let me not say it fit, but it work, it stay on my face for the most part. And yeah, and we are expected to have an amazing day today, an amazing night today. 
and everything just go good so that's what we're working on that's what we're doing i love y'all i really do and we just gonna go ahead and get it so the next time y'all probably see me is probably right before it starts